as well. When she heals herself, she heals you. How beautiful and nice is that, right? She's putting in all the hard work. So get out of this state. Quit just sitting there thinking, waiting, and reminiscing about times of the past. They're over. Get out of your head about this childhood memory. Um, actually, I'm seeing it's a long-term commitment, maybe stemmed from somebody that you knew from childhood. But get that ball rolling. Get this, uh, oops, get this judgment settled. And get ready to make your offer. Because look at the bottom of your deck. Two of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune. So, this is what is waiting for you. Honest to God. Like, next week, this could be yours. They are your bottom two cards of the deck. Spirit said, look at the bottom two cards. That is what is coming when you let this death card roll. When you let this judgment happen. When you do what you gotta do to get out of these karmic relationships that, um that are keeping you from your Divine Feminine. You guys are doing awesome. Like, honestly, I was telling the Divine Feminine air signs this last night. Your guys' readings are the best ones that I have done um, by far out of divine or out of masculine and feminine energy for every sign. Like, air signs, you are so close. You are going to be the first wave, I have a feeling. And like I said in my videos from last night, um, we have the full moon on December 3rd. We have the another portal open up December 12th, the 12-12 portal. And um, we have the winter solstice. And then we have the 11-11 portal opening again on January 1st, 2018. Because um, in numerology, you have January is 1, the first day is 1, and then 2018 breaks down to 11. And so we're going to have another 11-11 portal on the first of the year. Spirit is telling me that there is going to be a mass wave of union, reunion, and partial unions of twin flames. So put the work in now, guys. You don't want your progress to be halted at this point in time. You guys are so close. Like, so very close um, to healing and becoming married with one with oneself. Like, you love, love, love yourself wholeheartedly choose me over anybody and a lot of people have a hard time um even voicing that they feel guilty that they should feel that they should love their you know their spouse more or their parents more or their siblings more or their children more and spirit is reminding us that that is not the case because if you can't love yourself wholeheartedly and you can't love yourself above everybody else then you're never going to live your life for you and that's not doing anybody any favors you have to be you have to love yourself and love your life. Well, not love your life because everybody, I mean, we all have problems. We all have hardships. But at the end of the day, if you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I choose you, I love you, you are good enough, then our self-esteem and attitude is going to come out in such a beautiful way to other people that it's actually going to help the collective, you being, putting you number one. Because when you put you number one, you choose the decision that's best for you. And in turn, those who are meant to be in your life will be there and will be happy for you as well. So that is the message I have for you, Divine Masculine Air Science, for the week of November 27th from your Divine Feminine in separation. Um, so keep, keep up that hard work, keep doing your meditations, um, and reach out. If you feel you are ready, reach out to that um, feminine, Divine Feminine energy and... Um, Start working on uh, those future plans because I see it real. I see it real soon, um, and spirit is just encouraging you to be honest, to be um, forthcoming. You know, just put it all out there because your divine feminine is going to be understanding, and she has been <clears throat> working so hard for this union to come back into fruition. And Spirit is saying that a lot of them are feel, are thinking that it's worse than what it actually has been. So by you coming forward and telling her the truth, you're actually, it's going to be better because it's going to ease her mind. Because she thinks it's, you know, it's been so long since you guys have talked that she's thinking the worst. When you know it, 
that's not the case. So by telling her the truth, you're actually going to relieve a lot of pressure, burden, stress on both of you. So Spirit is encouraging you that if you feel you are ready for that, to reach out to them. So I hope you have a beautiful week. I'm sending you lots of love and light. And may God bless you with, <clears throat> with family and friends and happiness. So I will see you next week. Air sign masculine.